Oh, I'm so hungry. I should have eaten before I made this video. Okay. Priorities. Hey guys, it's Jamie and this week's video is about a health scare concern thing that I had and the appointment that I had about it. So a couple months ago I was having some pain in my chest and it could get quite bad and like it was really painful when I was like stretching for stuff and things and I kind of tried to ignore it, it took some ibuprofen when it was really bad but then one night I was sitting on the sofa and I was like leaning on my arm like this, really great pose and I felt a lump under my nipple and I wasn't just like randomly massaging my nipple or anything, it was painful so I was kind of like holding it a bit and I just noticed this little pea-sized lump under my nipple and by under I don't mean like that's my nipple and then the lumps underneath it, it was like under it, if that makes sense. And I panicked, obviously, straight away, I was like, oh my god! But I kind of calmed down a bit and then I just thought, oh maybe it's like a really gross spot or something that's just sitting under the skin for now and I was like, not gonna think about it anymore, but I still had the pain. And then the lump kind of grew quite quickly and soon it was like two little hugging kidney beans under my nipple and it was still really painful and I was like, okay, maybe I should go see a doctor about this. So I went to the doctor and I had to get half naked and he felt my chest and like poked it a little bit and he thought it could maybe be like an infection or something like that because there was pain, it had come up quite quickly. So he prescribed me a course of antibiotics. They did nothing except make my breath absolutely stink for a month and they genuinely tasted how I imagined poop would taste. So that was lovely. He told me if they didn't help to go back so I went back and he prodded around again and by that time it had gotten a little bit bigger but it hadn't had the rapid growth that it had from pee to double kidney bean. From there he decided to refer me to have an appointment at the breast clinic and he also suggested that it could be hormonal and my first thought was like oh my god they're growing back. Um, but no, they're not. <laughs> I felt fine about needing to be referred to a breast clinic, I was okay about that because anybody with breast tissue, uh, and that's like cis guys and just anybody needs to check their chest area and go to a breast clinic if there's any issues. So pretty soon after he said he'd refer me on to get this appointment, I got a letter through for the appointment along with a whole bundle of other stuff and I was totally fine about it still, it was all cool until I came to filling out the questionnaire. And the questionnaire asked questions about when did you have your last period, have you had a hysterectomy? Have you had any children? And it was just very orientated, the language and everything towards people who have ovaries and, and things like that. And I think that just made me start feeling a little bit apprehensive about going to a breast clinic. I don't even know really, I just kind of started feeling a bit uncomfortable again about certain things and it brought up some old feelings that didn't make me too happy. But that wasn't the only thing that was making me nervous because this lovely booklet came with it as well that says Rapid Diagnostic Clinic, which sounds great. It just goes through some of the things that might need to happen when you're there and that kind of ranges from an ultrasound to a core biopsy which is where a small amount of tissue is removed with a special needle and just the thought of that made me very nervous. So I was panicking on two things because I was like oh I feel really uncomfortable because of these questions but also I'm actually just generally scared about what's going to happen when I get there because I don't mind needles but just the idea of something going in my chest and taking a sample, no, no, did not appeal to me whatsoever. So anyway, because of all of this, I was feeling very apprehensive about going to the appointment. I was worried about telling people I was trans because obviously I was gonna have to explain why I could answer the questions and stuff and just kind of generally how people were gonna react. I mean, I'm not embarrassed about being trans, like at all, like, you know, hello, it's, it's no secret, but just something about that context and everything made me feel a little bit nervous. But the day came around for the appointment and I didn't want to go but I knew that I, you know, just get it done, go do it because if I didn't get it done then, then I'd probably just have to go a different day. My wonderful girlfriend Chava came with me for moral support and that really did help just having somebody there to talk to whilst I waited and keep me calm and just be there for the appointment and everything, it was very nice. So I'm, you know, sitting in the waiting room, very anxious, just uh, and the nurse calls me in and when I go in like the little room to get examined and stuff the first thing she asks for is the questionnaire so I kind of hand it over and she says oh I'm really sorry it probably most of these didn't apply to you because you're a bloke and I was just like well actually and then I explained that I was transgender and she seemed a little bit embarrassed she was very apologetic so anyway I had to get my chest out again for like the third time and the doctor had a good feel around in my armpits as well and everything, good job I'm not ticklish. He reassured me that it was most likely just some fatty tissue and just some built up scar tissue and it had just flared up and that's why it was painful. I was very happy to hear that it 
didn't seem like anything sinister. That doctor was also incredibly lovely. He was like the proper, I don't know, jolly grandpa type. And he just made me feel completely at ease and all my nerves about the appointment went and I was just totally comfortable from then on. So the next thing after he felt my chest is I had to go for an ultrasound and that was just like a uncomfortable, cold, gooey massage on my nipple, which was very weird. But the doctor who did the ultrasound also reassured me that it just looked like some fatty tissue, a bit of scar tissue, and then a little bit of glandular tissue, which is perfectly normal. And the great news about that is that there was no need for any needles to go anywhere near my chest that day, which I was so happy about. So yeah, the first doctor I saw confirmed that everything's okay, it's nothing sinister, it's nothing I need to worry about, just take some ibuprofen for the pain, but it shouldn't last forever, it should eventually just stop. I guess I just wanted to make this because when I first realised there was something up with my chest, I was like, oh, I'm gonna need to go see a doctor about it and like, just... I don't know, I think just since I had top surgery, although I knew I would still need to keep an eye on things, it just still took me by surprise that there was potentially something there that, that I needed to get sorted. And then I was super apprehensive about the appointment in itself because of the, mainly the questionnaire and then just a little bit being scared of the big needles. I think all in all though, I was so much happier to answer those questions on paper and I think that was a much better way to do it than to ask me in person when I was there. Although it made me feel uncomfortable at home answering them, I could just get over it and forget it and hand it over and not have to talk to them about it. So yeah, it went much better than expected. My nerves went away. Everybody was super friendly and super just respectful and everything. And apart from me just saying at the beginning I was trans, it wasn't something that came up. So yeah, I guess finally I just wanted to say, don't forget to still check everything out, even if you are post-top surgery and do get things looked into if you do find any issues. I know how uncomfortable it can be to, to do that. And if it would make you feel better, definitely take somebody with you because that can help ease nerves and just make you feel a bit more comfortable about potentially how people might react or the questions they might ask and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry if this week's video has been a little bit rambly and boring, but I hope it was kind of semi-useful information for some people. And yeah, I will see you next week. Bye.